Hi, I'm Jackie Hook, Senior Designer with O'Donnell Learn, and we're here to help you bring your learning experience online. If you and your students typically engage in discussions in class, you'll be pleased to know that class discussions are perfectly doable in the online environment. In fact, they can be just as thought-provoking and dynamic in an online modality. Online discussions can be either asynchronous or synchronous. Live, real-time discussions are known as synchronous, and they take place via a video conferencing tool and typically used in a larger group context. With asynchronous discussions, you and your students participate at different times and within a set of parameters. In this video, we'll focus on real-time or synchronous online discussions. Live class discussions work best when you use a video conferencing tool. If you have access to one, you can meet with your students together during regularly scheduled class time. You can lead discussions just like you would in the in-person classroom. Here are some tips for conducting synchronous online discussions. Be sure to provide students with detailed login information before the class starts. Ask them to join at least five to 10 minutes before if possible in case they have any connection issues. For classroom management purposes, ask students to mute their microphones when not speaking and to use the video conferencing tools raise your hand feature when they want to contribute to the discussion. Students might want to send chat messages to you and to other students during the discussion. If you think this feature would be helpful, you can direct them accordingly. Many instructors find the chat useful to collect questions and to tailor the discussion or lecture accordingly. If you want your students to collaborate in smaller groups at any point during the discussion, say during a break, ask them to discuss and respond to a question or some other prompt, and you can use group tools or breakouts in your school's learning management system, or LMS, or in your video conferencing program that you're using to split students into these groups. In these smaller groups, students can communicate in real time and then report back to the class after a specified period of time. For more ideas on using these types of groups, refer to the video in this series called Work in Groups. Be sure to communicate your expectations for student participation and for any related assignments and assessments. Providing guidance and protocols will make it easier for you to moderate and for students to participate. It may take a little practice for you and your students to adjust to a new discussion format but you'll be pleased with the new ways that your students will engage online. We at O'Donnell Learn are here to support you as you make this transition to the online learning modality. Please feel free to contact us at any time. You can start by visiting our LX Design Center for resources, tools, and access to our learning design team as you go virtual.